here. I've got a double pocket scrapbooking layout for you today using the August Kidaholic Kits kit. Uh, and we will get started on the first card. So this first card here, I'd already stuck the green paper on the back of that you are my favourite card and my camera hadn't started recording so you can see the papers already on the back of that card. Now you're going to see me mess up in a minute. This is upside down. I didn't check the back of the card because I'm not used to doing back and front so there's the stuff up. I'm able to pull it off easily, luckily. Take the backing off, put more tape on. See? Boo! I'll put some more tape on and I will actually put it round the right way this time. Luckily enough it turned out okay so it wasn't too destroyed. Always check. Always, always check. That wasn't too bad. Using the last of my gold enamel dots. Oh, I need to get some more. Can't believe they're all gone. That's that card done. Moving on to the next card. I just have, I went through my scraps of paper to have a look at what I could use as a, as an embellishment on this card. <coughs> I found one of these banners that I could cut out. It's an old Project Life card. So I cut that up, fussy cut it out, and I'll use that on the card. Fits in quite well up in the corner. I'm a little bit fussy when it comes to fussy cutting. That's why I don't do a lot of it. This is my little nephew. I've waited a long time to be an auntie. I'll take some of the printables from the August Kidaholic Kits kit, the pocket scrapbooking kit, and I covered my eyes. So I'm just going to peel that back off, cut it up, and then just use the words separately down that blue banner. And I'm pretty sure that card is almost done once I cut the extras off. Oh no, I add some hearts. I add a glittery heart to the middle. I didn't like the white heart in the middle. I didn't think it added much pop. So I added a glittery heart just to add some more dimension. Okay, this next card is, I only put a little bit of embellishing on this card. I don't think it need, needs much. I didn't want to cover their heads up, so I put the cut apart word beautiful and the puffy star down the bottom. And just added a little love heart to the top. I cut that love heart out with a punch, love heart punch, just from some cardstock. And then I'm just going to add a couple of little, oh, one of the stars from my pick four stash. These words are a little bit thick. I don't like the extra white around them, so I'd normally just cut it off. And I'll be adding nothing else. Oh. I thought I added hearts. Okay, this next card, I'm only going to be putting some of these words on. So these words are from the, again, from the cutter parts we got with the kit. <coughs> you can see the 
words, every moment matters, that you can see that pretty well. But that little arrow, that says love. It's a bit hard to see on camera. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know why it's flicking in and out. I might have to fix that. If you know of any better backgrounds to use than a white background, maybe a black background might work better. I'm not sure. I'm new to videoing. I'm just going to add a star and a couple of hearts. So these are the resin hearts I was talking about in my last video. You'll probably see them quite a lot in this video. This next 3x4 card is just basic. I'm just going to do two of the cut apart words and I'll just add a small glittery heart that I punched out into the middle and that will be that card done. I just wanted to use that as a nice filler card. This, that grid paper that you see, you can see it's got the pink fresh barcode on the back. That is a piece of the packaging from one of the embellishment packs we got in the August kit. So I just cut that down so I can use it as a um, grid for journaling. So this card is going to be a journaling spot. And I just used some green, some plain green cardstock that I had in my stash. Matches well with the rest of the green and the rest of the page, which you will see at the end. Sorry if you can hear my kids in the background. It's Saturday and they're playing kitchens. I'm just choosing which colour is going to go best with this card. I'm just going to spell out precious. So I'll spell out precious with these words, or with these puffy letter stickers. And then I find some other stickers in my stash, some black and white letter stickers, and I just spell out moments. I like my letters to be on the line and in a neat order. I need to try and get out of my comfort zone and make things a bit more wonky. Gives it a bit of dimension and a bit of pizzazz. So there's Precious. That um, enamel dot down the bottom, I just cut off the edge of it. So you can cut off bits of those. Don't cut off too much because they can shatter. This is where I'm type spelling out moments. These are all different fonts for the letters, so. I was having a bit of a heart attack doing that, but in the end it looked okay. Using my pointy scissors again as extra fingers, because my fingers don't like to work. Handy dandy crown pen, nice blue. I really do like this pen for journaling. See, if you heard that, that's my daughter asking for food. They never want me until they want food. And when I'm recording. Just adding a couple of punched out hearts. I've got three different size hearts. I've got a little tiny one, medium one and a longer one so I just use them on all my layouts I buy sparkly gift bags from the reject shop that's one that's a discount shop we have here in Australia and I punch out the hearts from those bags this next six by four card I used a white background so just white cardstock but it was too white with the cards on it, so I've just grabbed my old ink pads and I'm just using them to make a nice little background, just blending them. 
Remember, if you've got new ink pads, don't do this. Use a blending brush or a blending sponge because this wrecks your stamp pads. These stamp pads are old, so, so, so old. So they're already look like they've been put through the washing machine and chewed up. That's why I use them the way I do. Just adding one of the cards, one of the six, uh, three by four cards from the kit. Gluing that down, that will be where I do some journaling. And then I'm using the 3x3 card with the love on it as a centerpiece. Um, I'm cutting the edges off here just so it's a little bit thinner. I will use the edges that I've cut off. I use pretty much everything when I do scrapbooking. I don't waste anything. I have a box of scraps that I may never use, but you never know. I may need just that perfect colour one day. So I keep everything. I have scraps from 10 years ago that I've still kept. I was just checking then whether I put them around the right way. Glad I did. Adding a little embellishment. So that little round button embellishment has the same flower as that love card. So they match together well. And just putting a bit of the extra from that love card on the edge. So they just match up. Brings the page together. Oh, actually, I don't do journaling. I just had a bird. I thought I added journaling here, but I don't. It took me ages to find the perfect sticker. I didn't want something too wordy because I already have the love over on the other side of the card and I wanted that to be the feature of this card. So I eventually choose a bird. Eventually. These stickers are really hard to get off. There you go. And there's the bird I add. And a few little stars. These are great just for adding a little bit of extra depth to your card. Can't have two blues, apparently. Okay, this next card is just a three by four. So I, another scrap that I had left over. So I've just grabbed the scrap, I'm gonna cut that down. That's just gonna be a feature of the Three by four, and then I'll put that to do sticker from the kit from the stickers we got in the kit. It's just going to go over the top. Just like that. And then I didn't like to do, so I added the details cut apart over the to do. I didn't need four little boxes, so I only needed three. So then after that, I just added some words that match with the rest of the layout. That little pink strip there is from another one of the cards that I cut down. See, not wasting anything. And just added some little check boxes. And I had the names of my two kids and my nephew. I had music blaring right through doing all of this videoing, so I'm glad I'm doing voiceover and you can't hear any of the music because I was singing and my kids were singing as well. All right, this next card, I use the white background and I play around a little bit with how I want the cards to go. I don't really mind that it doesn't cover the whole card because I'll cover that bottom bit up anyway. Just trying to find an embellishment that will cover enough of the bottom where you can see that it joins. I 
I'm doing pretty well with the tape today. It seems to want to come off. Just matching that card up. This is my dad's cat. The only cat that seems to like me. Every other cat doesn't like me. Definitely a dog person. I like cats, they just don't like me. Okay, now I've put the pictures where I need them to be. <clears throat> Adding one of the stickers from the kit. I just took the foam dot off the back because it was already thick enough as it was. It's already raised up on the other side. Using my art glitter glue to glue that down. Adding some more of the cutter parts at the top. And I'll be adding another little word sticker. It just says lazy day, so that matched him well. Stars. Of course we need stars. Don't have any gold enamel dots left, so my next best thing is my stars. This is a 6x4 card, it's pretty simple. I just glued a 3x4 photo onto the 6x4 card, grab one of the stickers from the sticker sheet in the August kit, glued down right now from the printables. And this arrow was also from the printables, so I'll just quickly cut that out. I'm sure I didn't cut that out before. And they have to sit through me cutting it. I love this background paper. It's really beautiful. It'd be really nice if you watercolored some of the pictures, some of the flowers as well, just as a feature. Or ink them. I think that would be nice. Adding a little bit of word stickers. This is going to say Oh Charlie because the dog in the picture who looks like Schmeagel. His name is Charlie. He will not leave you alone. He will sit on you as if he is a baby and will shiver and stare at you until you put a blanket over him because he doesn't have much hair so it gets very cold. He's like a big baby. He's an Italian greyhound. He's very lovely. Almost done with these letters. I really like these blue letters. I like the watercolour effect on, on both the blues and the pinks and the yellows, how they all blend together well. It's kind of like a mini rainbow. And they all match together well with this kit because of all the colours joining together with pinks and blues and greens and yellows. Nice mix of everything. Alright, this next card, See the World, this is one of the 3x4 cards we got with the pocket scrapbooking kit. I'm not doing much with this kit. I'm going to add, I mean this kit, with this card, I'm just going to be adding a couple of stars to represent the outside of the world and then a couple of my little enamel stars. I'm actually trying to find the stars in the book. I knew exactly where they were, I just couldn't find the page. There they are. So I'll add two of these gold stars. One to the top corner and one to the bottom corner. 
and then add some of the resin stars. And then that will be that card finished. Just adding this one cut apart to this picture. Don't need much. It pretty much says everything it needs to in the picture. Now this next card, so this 6x4 is an actual 6x4 from the kit. It looks exactly the same as the grid from the packaging, from the embellishments, which is good. So that's why it all matched up well. This green piece was just a piece I found from my stash, my stash of scraps. So I'm just going to add that on. That matches with the rest of the green from both layouts. A little bit off camera there, sorry. Just adding that underneath the page, making sure it's level. And then I'm just going to add some of the cutter parts. That smile I punched out from my or with my one inch punch so they match perfectly oh, dropped it on the desk glue everywhere I'm just going to glue these down in a cluster and then I needed something on the bottom of that cluster so I went through my book from my stash that's one of my pick four stashes and picked out the flower from the front and just positioned that in and around the cluster. And then I'll just glue that family back down again and that added a little bit more dimension to that card. Didn't really need much more. Some heart, Some stars of course. And one of the little words, just finding which one I'm wanting to use. I don't actually know if I use one. Oh yeah, I do. I use the banner. And that balances out the card. Very well. It wasn't balanced before, but now it is. Just cutting the excess bits off, as you can see, the little bits falling down. And that's that card finished. This next card, I've already stuck down the photo and that smile, sparkle, shine from the kit. And the eating, my camera wasn't recording. Maybe it was user error and I forgot to press record, possibly. That flower there, I fussy cut from the outside of that smile, sparkle and shine card. And... The other one at the top there I'll use for something else in another layout. Sorry about my arm. I have all my embellishments and stuff from the August kit up in front of me in a container I got from Ikea. That little flower's from the sticker book from my Pick 4 stash. A little bit of journaling on the edge. Didn't need much. Just a tiny bit. I didn't want to take away from the flower on the side. And just a doodly border. Joins it together well. And that's my double layout for today. I hope you have enjoyed my process video. And stay tuned to see the rest of the photos and the layout all together. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye.